Welcome back. This is part two of episode four of my Starbound Modding 101 video tutorials where we're creating our own mod. Um, so I've opened up the player.config file from the Starbound assets. And like we talked about in the last video, we are going to be creating a patch for this file because we need to add something into this player.config file for us to be able to access our super pick that we've created. So we are going to go, this will be a little bit of a refresher of our patching video. So we're going to go into our super pick um, folder. And since the, the player.config file is just right inside the assets folder, we don't need to create any file structure um, to place it in. So we can just create it right here in our mod. So we go to new and text document. And so we are going to name it player.config dot patch and that will tell us that it's a patch file okay so we open this up and I've already opened up um, this is the um, example that we looked at in the in the second video about patching an example of a, of a simple patch so we're going to duplicate this for our mod so we need to start with a square bracket Okay, all right, and then um, we need to um, do a curly brace because that's what our command is going to go inside. Okay, and we need to start with op for operation, and then colon, and then our operation, um, we are going to do an add operation just like we're doing here. We're going to do operation add because we need to add another item to that list of the blueprints. Okay, so we do a comma, and then our next item is path. Okay, and we can see that here, so path, and then we need a colon, and we need a, a path to what we're adding to this file. So this is where we get a little bit tricky, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so let's look at what our path should be. So we need to start with the, with the outermost item um, and work inwards to where we want to place this thing. Okay, so these are all of our tier one blueprints so we want to add ours somewhere in this list of these tier one blueprints so we can craft this super pick at tier one so the first thing that we see um, inside this file structure and this is why tabbing makes it so easy to uh, to read code is we can see what the outermost thing is um, so the, the outermost item here is the default blueprints so that's going to be our first part of our our path here so our path is going to start with default blueprints okay so I'm go back and look at this um, config file here and I already can see I've misspelled default blueprints so I need to capitalize that B capitalization matters in in code okay so default blueprints and then inside here the next thing that I get to is tier one okay so I want to do default blueprints and then slash and then tier one just like the file structure on your computer okay let's just make sure I spelled that right t-i-e-r okay tier one okay so now we get to a tricky part so now inside tier one we see the square bracket and we know that that means that it's a list of values okay so we need a way to reference which one of these these values um, or where in this list of values I'm trying to to add this thing so what I need to do is I need to add it to the end of this list. So I need to go all the way to the end and I'm going to, to add in something to the, uh, a new item to the end of this. So I'm going to, to reference the end of that list, it's a simple symbol, it's just a minus sign. Okay, so I'm going to add into the end of tier one blueprints. So that's it for that one. So I do a comma, and then the last thing I need is a value. Okay, so the value that I'm going to add in is basically the exact code that I want to add in there. So the exact code that I, that I want to add into the end of this list of default blueprints, uh, wherever the end is, okay. Okay, so this is the end of the default blueprints. So I want to add in another item that looks just like this, except with different different words. I want to have it say super pick or super pickaxe in here. 
So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to my config and the value. I'm going to put this in, in quotes. And that's exactly what I want it to insert in there, except instead of undecorated tree, I want it to be the name of my item. And so to make sure that we get the name properly, we're just going to go back in to our uh, mod here and check our mining tool. And then the name of the item is, is this value in item name, super pickaxe. So that's the, that's the name of our pickaxe that we're creating. I'm going to go into our patch and put that in there. Okay, so that's the only thing that we want to add in there. So this should be it for our for our config.patch. So we're just going to go ahead and save this. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is create a recipe file. All right, so the next step is creating a recipe file for our super pick. And so I've already uh, gone in and uh, copied it out of the assets. So what I've done is in, in the Starbound assets, um, in my unpacked folder here we see there's a folder called recipes um, and you can go in here and inside anvil there's the copper pickaxe dot recipe file so what i've done is i've gone into to our mod here and i've already i did the same thing as we did with the uh, the actual pickaxe files and i uh, created a my own recipe folder i created an anvil folder and then i've copied the the copper pickaxe dot recipe file in here but we're going to uh, to change it First of all, we need to change the name, and we're going to call it superpickaxe.recipe. Okay, we're going to open this up here. Okay, so we see a curly brace and input, and we need to um, change the input here um, depending on what we want to use to craft it. So I'm going to keep it as a as copper bar, but I'm going to say it only costs one copper bar. And the output, it's going to be an item, and it's going to be super pickaxe. And we need to put as this name the name, the actual name of our item as defined in the uh, in the JSON file. Super pickaxe. We need to make sure it's spelled the same. And the outputs one super pickaxe. Okay. So groups. This is the the tricky part about recipe files. Is this tells you where you can craft the item and then also what category it applies to so when you're sorting by like tools or furniture and such um, some of these tags affect how it's how it sorts so groups anvil this tells us that we crafted at the anvil so that's fine we'll leave that the same um, and it's in the tools category that's fine too and then the all i believe the all means that when you search all items it comes up on the all items list so we just we'll keep all of these things the same um, because we crafting it at the anvil is fine all right so we are done with our recipe file um, we just needed to rename these things and uh, we should be good to go so the next step is putting it in our starbound mods folder so let me save this here we'll close it up all right, so we've got everything we need for our super pick. We've got our item files, we've got our recipe file, we've got our con player config.patch, and we've got our mod info file. So we can close that up, and we are going to go to our starbound folder. And the, where we put our mods, I'm sure if you've installed any mods before, you, uh, you should remember that you go into giraffe storage if you're running the most recent version of starbound, which you should be, and you go to the mods folder. So now we're going to take our, our pickaxe mod, and I'm actually, this is an old one here. Um, I'm going to delete that out of there. So we're going to take our pickaxe mod, and we're just going to plop it right in our mods folder. And uh, we're going to start up Starmon and see how this goes. Okay, here we are, and I have actually just tried to run this mod. And we see that I've popped up with an error. You will see a lot of these in your time modding Starbound if you spend any time doing it. Um, so luckily, these errors are pretty good at giving us a general idea of, of where the error is. Um, this one in particular, it actually it tells us where it is just right from this error window. Usually these error windows aren't as helpful. But in this case, it's telling us there's a problem loading the asset player.config. 
So that tells us that most likely our problem is our player.config.patch. So I've gone ahead and gone and popped this open here, our player.config.patch. And I was looking through here and I realized I made a, a mistake here. This, this piece of code here actually does not belong in quotes. Because we talked about, as we talked about in the last video, only words need to be in quotes typically. So that would have been enough to throw that error and the game crashed just simply because I put quotes around something that I shouldn't have. So we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to go ahead and just try and relaunch Starbound. Go ahead and open it up. It'll take just a minute here to load up. So it seems to be doing all right. The loading screen is going. I haven't had any errors so far. Okay, so it opened up the game, so it seems like everything is working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up my character here. Okay, so I am right here at the anvil. And I'm going to, have, going to go ahead and go look in the anvil, and I'm looking in here, and I'll search for super pick. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be here. So this is the other type of error that you could receive. It's not always a crash error. Sometimes it's a syntax error, just enough to where it didn't, doesn't crash the game, but it doesn't make your item appear either. So this type of error, especially, is where the starbound.log comes in handy. So we're going to go into our giraffe storage and look at our starbound.log. And, okay, we're looking at info, 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 error. Okay, this is where our error is. Could not apply patch from back end. Let's see, giraffe storage mod, super pick, caused by could not apply patch to base. So it's, it's a problem with our patch. And in our mod, we only have one patch. Could not apply operation to base. Invalid path specified. Path must begin with a slash. Okay, so that's a very specific error report. This really helps us to figure out what's wrong. So I look into our player config.patch, I look at our path, and up, oh, sure enough, I do not have it starting with a slash. So that would be in just enough to where it wouldn't crash starbound, but it wouldn't be able to, to get me my item either. It wasn't able to reference the the place in the player.config to give me the, the crafting recipe. So I should have fixed it now, so I'm going to go ahead and save it up and try running Starbound one more time. Okay, here we are back in Starbound, and it looks like our mod is working. So we go to our um, crafting menu here in the anvil, and the first thing on the list is our super pickaxe. Super pickaxe? This is a super powerful pickaxe. So we're going to go ahead and craft it. As we can see, our recipe file tells us that it only costs one copper bar. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. All right. So now let's go down to the planet service, surface and give it a test drop. All right, here we are on our friendly neighborhood snow planet. And I've got my super pickaxe, so let's see if it actually works. All right. Perfect. So it works exactly how we wanted it to. Although sometimes it won't. Sometimes you'll have some error in the values that you put in, maybe, such that Everything works fine in Starbound, but it doesn't do the what you intended it to. So there'll be a lot of trial and error. Maybe I want to put the strength of the pick up a little bit more. I might actually, for a truly super pickaxe, I would want to make the radius a little bit wider. Because this is pretty big, but uh, I think it could be bigger. So anyway, that's it for our, uh, our simple mod. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.